Hi everyone, it's Danny here from Angel Handmade Papercraft. Today I am working with Whimsy Stamps and I am using one of the digital stamps from Krista Heischbauer. Um, I absolutely love this stamp, it's so adorable. Who wouldn't love a pumpkin with a bat balloon? Seriously gorgeous. Alright, so I've got the image printed out onto some Expressa blending card and I am colouring him up using Copic markers. Copic markers are my go-to. Occasionally I have to try and get out of my comfort zone and use other things, but I always end up picking up my Copics because I love them. Now, for those of you that are new to Copics um, and questioning the cost, I know a lot of posts have been going around Facebook lately. Look, you don't need every single Copic marker to start with. I still don't have every single Copic marker. So I just want to let you guys know that yes, they are an expense, but yes, they are totally worth it. So start with working out what you want to color and then you can go from there. Just pick three or four colors from each color blend, you know, do your research, find some color blends that you like and go from there. You can then slowly start to add to your little stash and they will eventually build up. I remember when I first started, I had enough markers that I could hold them in my hand. Then I had enough to put a rubber band around them. Then I moved to a small pencil case, then a big pencil case. Um, and then I had some zippy bags. And then that's when I went to a craft show and was able to grab one of the Copic bags. And now my Copic bag is quite full. Like I said, I still don't have all of the Copic markers. So, you know, it is possible to get away with not needing all of them. All right, now let's get back to this image. I have colored him up using a few of the YR markers and an E marker, just to give it a little bit of extra color. So I'm working my way through. I'm a little bit short of breath again today. I don't know what's going on in the air. I think someone's just mowed the lawn. It's probably not helping me. All right, um, in between, I have been cleaning off some of my Copic markers. That's why there's a little cotton bud there. And my little medicine container, I use this for my um, my rubbing alcohol and only for my rubbing alcohol. This little container does not leave my craft room. The lid goes on top of my, my rubbing alcohol and goes into one of my drawers. So it does not get touched by my kids. My kids do not go near my stuff. I am very, very lucky there, but please do be careful. Um, because obviously this is made for medicine and you don't want to be cross-contaminating and poisoning your children. Alright, so on this little bat, I thought it would be easier for me just to colour the whole thing in black and then to go back in with my white gel pen and then go over all of those areas that I want to be white. I figured this would be a lot easier than trying to get around all of those areas and to keep them all white and tidy. I'm adding a few little details to the pumpkin and now I'm just going to ground him and then I think I am pretty much done with the colouring. So here is a few photos of him coloured up and then I'm going to put the card together. A nice and quick card for your today as well. So here is all the Copic markers that I have used. They will be listed on my blog so you can check that out here. I use some papers from DCWV which is die cuts with a view. This is the Spooky Halloween collection. I ran one of the MFT birch tree dies through my big shop. Um, I adhered that to the left hand side just using some Tombow Mono Multi. I decorated the inside ready for the inside of my card as well. So I've just used some of that leftover paper and one of those trees as well. Just cut off the excess and that's my card done. A nice quick one. I thank you all for watching and see you soon. Bye.